Hello Bulldog families. Today is an exciting day because you're working on your schedule and we are going to spend a little time here explaining the sciences. Um, unlike some of the other uh, subjects, the sciences don't have a clear cut like pathway. And so we'd like to introduce a few of them to you. We have four AP science courses, four AP science subjects. There's more than courses than that um, here at Edmund Memorial. And we'd like you to be informed on which one you might want to choose as your science next year. Um, we'll start with the ones that I'll start with mine because it's the one you can take first. Um, as an AP biology teacher here at Edmund Memorial, I have the privilege of helping students understand better biological science. We take what could be at many universities, two semesters of biology, and we learn that in our year here at Edmund Memorial. We go from anything from molecular genetics to our like um, DNA structure, and we study all the way up to ecology and the big picture of how organisms interact with, interrelate to one another and react together. Um, throughout that, we study energetics, cell respiration, photosynthesis. Um, we do genetics. Uh, we do gene regulation. We learn about how our cells in our bodies work and how that makes the really the bigger world go round. It's an interesting class. It's um, it's challenging like all our AP sciences are. Um, it is a college level science course. We do have many labs because it is a lab course in college. And so we do have those same kind of lab experiences here. Um, with any of these courses, you have to expect a homework load. You have to expect study time. You have to expect taking notes at home um, outside of what we do in class, which is spent largely on activities and labs. Um, and so all of that is going to be pretty much the same in all of our AP science courses. Now, the fun thing about, or the interesting thing, I guess, I don't know if it's fun or not, about AP Biology is you can take that course as a sophomore, which is super early if you think about it, a 10th grader taking a college level science. But if you were proficient, excelling actually, in um, pre-AP Biology, and you are concurrently enrolled in pre-AP Chemistry, you have to be enrolled in Chemistry at the same time. So actually, if you're a sophomore, um, AP Biology would be your elective. Well, pre-AP chemistry would be your science, okay? Now, juniors and seniors, you guys would take it as your science. I have a mixed group of kids. It is not a class four sophomores, a class four juniors, a class four seniors. Um, it is, I have them equally represented. So also, um, the reason you would want to take it early, if you did, is that gives you room in your schedule whenever, you know, as you get to junior, senior year, you start to kind of load up with AP classes between English and history, um, and some of the other, you know, you're maybe in your AP math at that time, then at that point, it gets a little crowded in your AP world. And so it's possible that you might want your sophomore year to take one of your AP classes. And then you could take AP chemistry, AP physics, environmental, AP environmental, one of the other courses, um, and not have to double up on AP science, which can be really challenging. Um, so that's, that's AP biology. I'll let some of the other teachers explain their courses to you. Hi, Bulldogs. This is Mr. Dorch. I'm the one in the hallway with the meter stick you might see in the hall. Uh, I am encouraging you guys, if you are going into your junior year and if you just completed your first year of chemistry, whether it's regular chemistry or pre-AP chemistry, I encourage you to take AP chemistry your junior year. Uh, depending on the college that you end up going to, the college can give you up to 12 credit hours of science credit if you pass the AP exam. I actually don't give a lot of homework in AP chemistry. We take care of the business in class. Uh, we do a lot of labs, and so it's a lot of hands-on chemistry. And now the course is still hard. It's still a tough course. Uh, my tests are difficult, but I will teach you how to attack uh, a subject that is not as easy and it's more, it's college prep. This is college chemistry that you'd be taking as a junior in high school. So I typically get a 70 to 75% passing rate on my exam. So I would real, there's the bell. I would really love to see you next year uh, in AP chemistry, your junior year. And please feel free to stop by and talk to me at any point in time if you're concerned about if it's too difficult or not for you. Thank you so much. Do you find yourself pondering questions like, where is this going to go when I throw it away? 
how much energy does it take to curl my hair? And where does electricity come from anyways? Then you might want to take AP Environmental Science where we study the natural world and our impact upon it. This is an AP level class. We do a lot of reading. We do labs. We discuss. We write. We learn. And there's the potential added bonus for college credit when you ace the AP exam in May. I look forward to meeting you and learning more about our natural world together. And finally, we have AP Physics. AP Physics is a little different because it offers three different courses, so you need to decide between them. AP Physics 1 and 2 are both algebra-based courses which require slightly less, less mastery of mathematics than AP Physics C does. However, the difference between AP Physics 1 and 2 is that in AP Physics 1, you're looking at work, energy, power, uh, waves, circuits, circuitry, things like that. Um, and AP Physics 2, you're spending more time in thermodynamics, um, electrical currents and forces, magnetism. So they're different topics of physics. Um, uh, all of it's going to be looking at, you know, Newton's laws, laws of thermodynamics, motion, force, things like that. That's physics, uh, gravity, cool stuff like that. Uh, once you get, you can decide between those two, physics one or two, or you can take them both. They're different years, of course. Um, they are, like I said, algebra based. And then there's AP Physics C, which is a calculus based physics, which requires, um, it requires you to understand more um, the calculus formulas and doing calculus, but you can take it concurrently with calculus, which is what a lot of my students do after other AP biology course. So basically it, it takes, um, it's the same, same concepts like thermodynamics and um, currents and, and all of the physics principles, but they're using um, calculus formulas with it. And so it kind of brings math to life, which is kind of cool. Um, and so that would be a recommendation that I would have is to take, if you're taking calculus your senior year, go ahead and take AP Physics C along with it. Uh, but whatever you do, you might want to explore physics. Mr. Craig will be happy to tell you more about it. If you have questions, you can go by his classroom and see him. It has the blue box door. Um, okay, thank you for listening. I appreciate your time. We really love teaching our AP Sciences, and we hope that you'll take one so that you can enjoy learning AP Sciences from us. Enjoy, be safe, have a great day.